Okay, we have head coach Mark Fox here. We'll start with his opening comments on today's loss to Utah. Uh, certainly disappointed with the result today. Um, I thought we competed hard, you know, uh, and at the end of the night, we'll look back and, and realize that the, the consequences of some little mistakes um, throughout the game were, 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 were great. And, um, and once you understand those consequences as a player and as a team, hopefully you realize that there's no such thing as a little thing um, because um, we had some, we had some little mistakes in the game that, that uh, when you look back, we're, we're, we're just back breaking in a two point loss. We'll open up to questions for Coach Fox. We'll start with one from Jake Curtis. Yeah, you only had four seconds in that last possession, but it was dead ball. Did you think you'd get something a little better out of that? We, we were obviously were out of timeouts. Um, and, and I thought he would get a little deeper, you know, uh, quite frankly. So, I, you know, obviously we'll have to look at the film. Um, you know, we, we had run the, the, the same play, the possession before, and got a three. We weren't going to have time to do to, to do the you know to, to dribble and make a pass, but I, I thought Jordan might get a little deeper. Um, they had two guys there, but we'll have to study it and see see why he did. Uh, regarding with the battle on the points of the paint, uh, with the combined sixty four points, was that something that you wanted to emphasize coming into the game, or was that a byproduct of some uh, other strategy against Utah? Uh, I'll tell you, that's a good observation. Um, I thought both teams made a point to take away three-point shots. You know, Jordan Shepard played so well last weekend that he's seeing a different focus of the defense. You know, Grant has had a hard time getting really clean-looking threes all year um, because of his reputation as a shooter. Um, we, we wanted to make sure that we guarded the three-point line ourselves. And so when you extend like that, and both teams did, you've got to make sure that, that, that you can get some things done on the interior. And I thought Lars was, was, was really sound today. Um, and um, both teams, you know, um, Obviously, played a lot inside, whether it was by the pass or the drive, and and um, you know we, we needed to make one one you know one or two fewer mistakes or one or two you know one more basket, um, and we'd have a different result. But that's how close these games can be. Can you expand a little bit about Lars' game today? He seems to be a lot more confident player than he was just five or ten games ago. Yeah, you know I I think that Lars. Um, you know, Lars, and in, in, I think this is how many games Andre's missed six, maybe, um, uh, which, you know, late in the year, that's a tough thing to adjust to because, you know, it happens, uh, you know, he missed, you know, it happened in the middle of a five game and 10 day span. There's not practice time. It's just jump in there and try to adjust on the fly. And I thought Lars has played really sound basketball, except for the other night. He didn't, he didn't play very well, um, but he's been pretty consistent. And then I thought today, uh, he, he continued to grow and, and show how comfortable he is. The issue is for us, uh, and this was evident the other night, is, is um, you know, when Lars goes out, you know, we get small really fast. And to the previous question, you know, we, we've got to be able to get interior points. And, and, um, and so if Lars is out or he's not playing well, um, we're, we're really small and, and, and it's hard to, to get some things done in the paint. And the other teams know it too. Uh, they, they see Andre on, on crutches over there, so they know that, that, uh, that they can press up on the perimeter. Um, and so, you know, Lars playing well is critically important for us. We have such a small margin for error um, without Andre. And, and, um, and today, that small margin for error, we were on the wrong side of it. Further questions for head coach Mark Fox? Uh, I have one more. Um, is there anything you can use to your advantage with regarding to the seven-day rest you get between today's game and next against Stanford? Well, uh, you know, we need some we need some rest. You know, this has been uh, this has been a grind of a season. Um, obviously, at the start, without several perimeter players, you know, Jordan Shepard has logged a ton of minutes, um, and then um, we finally get a little bit more complete there, and then we lose Andre, and so. You know, like Grant tonight plays 35 plus minutes and, and um, it's late February. And so, um, you know, we have some guys who just are genuinely fatigued. And so we'll give them a couple days in a row off because I think physically they need it. And then it'll be really the first time we've had a couple practices in a row to address how we can really play without Andre and, and see what tweaks we can make um, where we have a couple days in a row to work on it. So, you know, we'll go back to, to work and, and keep trying to get better.
questions for, for Lars and Joel for just, just a couple questions before turning it over, Coach. We'll start with one from you, Jake. Yeah, Lars, what, what did you think about your performance today? What enabled you to be productive? Yeah, you know, I got, a, I got great looks from my teammates. Had a good game tonight. Um, yeah, just, just try to be confident with the ball, believe in myself, and, yeah, be strong on there. Joel, can you just talk about the game in general? How do you think you guys played? Um, you know, we bounced back uh, after the first half. We competed the second half. Obviously, um, in the first half, <clears throat> uh, we had some turnovers. We, had, we gave up some second chances. Um, we kind of dug ourselves a hole. But on the other hand, we, you know, we competed and we fought towards the end. And, um, you know, we had a chance to win and unfortunately just didn't end our way. Was there one particular aspect of the game that was key, do you think? Uh, no. Uh, with the next seven day rest against your game against Utah, um, is there any um, opportunity for to, for y'all to use that next week uh, to work on some of the things in this game? And if so, what are they? Yeah, I mean, for, for sure. I mean, you win or lose, you definitely want to learn from, from, from the game that you just played from moving on to the next one. Um, and so, you know, right now we just, just got to relax. Um, and, you know, focus, you know, going on towards next week. But right now, you know, you just got to take this one to the chin and, and, and regroup um, once we start practice this week, next week. Either one of you, with four seconds left, was there any particular idea of what you guys wanted to do in that last final possession? Just get a, get a good shot up, get an opportunity to win the game. I mean, Shep got a shot up. Fortunately, didn't win in. But, yeah, we got to look there.